Welcome to the world united. Welcome to the world united. Oh, that was beautiful. I hope you feel a little bit relaxed after that, uh, coming back to your heart, connecting to what unites us within. Now we're going to come to a grandmother here in uh, Sweden. Her name is Lena Kristina Tulse, and um, she's a dear friend of mine, and I've been following her for many, many years. She's like a a spark of energy and she is going towards the 80s how can that be you know so she's working with breath she's working with um, helping people breathing deeply within themselves to release emotions to connect to to traumas and heal these traumas and she has been through a journey through her life that is incredible. There's so many things she has done and inspired thousands of people. And uh, I'm looking forward to talk with her now. She's going to share about the theme, Never Give Up. Here she comes. Um, unmute. Uh, uh, how do I unmute? Her? I'm, I, I'm on now. now. Okay, you can. Now you are on. Sorry. Wonderful. Wonderful. So, uh, Liana Christina, a pleasure to have you here. You are on your place in your sacred home in Veda. Uh, what do you mean when you say never give up? Oh my God. You know. We are meeting so many different situations in our lives that could take us down, that could really get us to give up. But I think in this beautiful journey that Ingrid had described so well toward the height of freedom and love, and uh, I would say that uh, the wisdom comes from meeting our difficulties. Uh, the longing that I see is the driving force for us human beings is that we want to be united. One of the really big traumas is life, in life is to feel separated. And many of us in older times, we were separated at birth and it created the base of loneliness and uh, not being part. So I think a lot of my own journey was to heal this feeling of being separated, not being really good enough, not being wanted, not being longed for, not belonging, as we talk of unity. And the driving force for all of us in life is the longing, I think, the longing to be united. And the longing to be developed to our full potential. And the longing, it's a very powerful power that we need to let loose to let our longing really bring us forward. It is pointing us forward. It's, it's driving us to look for more knowledge, to look for people that can inspire us to move in this direction of unity and oneness. The longing I think is behind most of our important decision in life. It's the road that decides where we want to go. We want to grow. And there is a much bigger potential inside each one of us than what we can believe and what we have connection to. 
there are so many possibilities to really bring our talents forward and talents that we don't even know that we have or dare to believe that we are able to develop. It's like we are pregnant with a lot of possibilities. There is uh, so much that are driving us that we are unaware of, just that Ingrid described. And in the kind of work that I have had as one of my really basic tools in life has been the breathing. Because the way that we consciously breathe in what we call rebirthing, or there's so many forms you call it, mindfulness breathing, we say liberating breathing in Sweden, but it all goes to the same source within you of creating an inner unity, an inner unity that gives you this energy to let go of what's holding on in your consciousness or in your body, in your cells that is uh, limiting you. So in the breathing, it is uh, the possibility to go beyond your consciousness. You are not really aware of what is being released and it's not necessary because the breathing, it is a tool to open your consciousness, to take a look at patterns and uh, traumas that is uh, guiding you in your belief system. And there's so many beliefs that are also waiting to be released, to be changed, for you to be able to reach toward a higher connection to the oneness. Yeah, we will never get away from the truth that the love that we are able to feel toward our own existence and toward our own being, it is also what sets the limit to what you're able to give to the world, to give to other people. Your mind is really deciding so much of the way you live, your habits, the choices you make in love, in life. I often say that the base for your action is the way you treat your body, it's the way you treat your mind, and it's the way you are related to what we call the spiritual world. Body, mind, and spirit. And we can talk a long time about how to really nourish our body in the best way to create aliveness. And then we can spend a lot of time disciplining and loving our mind to be guiding you. And of course, we need a spiritual link where we feel that we are united, where we feel this oneness and where we feel that it's up to me how I feel, how I act, and that in its essence is generating a vibration that moves out and is affecting the world around me. The way I treat my body, my mind, my spirit, it decides the choices I make. And the choices I make, of course, they give the results I have in life. But we are also, of course, very much influenced by the world around us. 
unconsciously, we are taking on actually other people's pain, worries on an unconscious level. It's affecting us. When we are close to people that are scared and fearful, it will also create a kind of fear inside of us. But the stronger that we are develop our own personality, our own mind, our own body, our own connection to the wholeness, we can also be aware of how we are being influenced and we can counteract how the world that is not so, let's say, enjoyable around us is affecting us. Yeah, I really think that the longing that we have inside is, oh my God, now someone is knocking at my door. But I can't do anything about it right now. I think you are more important than the person knocking there. <laughs> <laughs> when you did the little guided meditation with us, Ingrid, I, I couldn't help to go to my own morning. You see, I start my mornings here by walking barefoot in the, this morning, the wet little grass, the wet, the cold, going down to the beach and going down the ladder into the cold water. Ah, that gives me such an awakening. And it gives me such a joy to be part of this universe. I am so grateful for being existing at this time and to be part of spending my energy to enjoy my life and share it with people around me. And I love to be able to influence the world around me a little bit. The, the grand of sand that I am, that that can touch people in a way that's inspiring and that is uh, maybe moving them to be a little bit more brave and take the steps they need to get closer to their goals, you know. Yeah, I don't know what to say more. <laughs> but uh, I just wish all of us, I, I have no idea how long I've spoken and I know that we are a little bit behind. So maybe it's, uh, I don't know. Do you want me to say anything more, Ping? <laughs> I, uh, I think it's magic what you have gotten together, all of us here, that have a chance to mirror ourselves in each other and uh, share in this way. Liana Cristina. I, I really love uh, what you share. Um, could you just share a little bit about, shortly about the breathing session? What does it take you through? Because the breathing is so important. Yeah. One time maybe we could do a breathing online within this concept. You know, what it does really uh, is that it, when you stay with it in a, in a way where you, you have no chance to really uh, escape into your mind or you, you keep a pace that is a strong inhalation and a relaxed exhale. So... And you know, when you keep going like this, it activates part in your body that have been lamed or have been 
holding patterns of resistance inside you. It can be feelings you have not felt through. It can be fear that you have not let go of, whatever it is. If you keep breathing, you will feel a resistance to go on. But when you keep doing it, you release these holding patterns and it will open up your mind. It will open up deeper understanding of the inner connections and your feelings and you can let go. You can let go of the past so that you can really live fully in the here and now. You can let go of even the past life patterns, whatever you believe in, in that sense. And, uh, but it, it's hard to do it on your own because you don't want to go through that resistance. So you need someone, it, it's easier anyhow, when you have someone that sort of is encouraging you, come on, keep breathing, come on. Yes, you're doing right and, and can let you uh, use a little bit of your power to take themselves through some of the holdings. And then, of course, you have to also talk about what's happening. You have to clear your mind and your understanding. And so it, it's, a, it's a deeper therapeutic process than just keep breathing. You have to, to have a, some knowledge about the whole therapeutic process and uh, encourage people to dare to let go, let go of what is stopping you, let go of whatever is hindering you from taking your next step in the direction of what, where you want to end. And there's no end. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Liana Christina. It's been a pleasure having you with us. And um, me, myself, personally, have done a lot of rebirthing and also with you, Liana Christina. And I can vow for how deep it touched me. And one of the moments I did rebirthing with you, I felt so deeply in my heart. I was feeling so much love to everyone in the room. And particularly when someone was holding me while I was breathing and I could go deep into whatever needed to be released there. So thank you so much for your time, Liana Cristina. Love to have you here. Love thank you for coming. Love Big. to be Thank you. We're now going to leave over to another one that has arrived here with us. And um, 